Good morning and welcome to morning prayer um, for this day. Um, if you like the words that we use, um, they're available from the St Plinus website, stplinus.co.uk. Um, my name is Reverend Amanda. Um, I'm part of the ministry team here at St Plinus and Crayford. Um, you're very welcome to get in touch with us if you um, want to download those words or have requests for prayer or, in, or just need to get in touch, please do. All our contact details are on that website. Um, our readings today are from Psalm 31, verses 9 to, um, 9 to 1. Jeremiah 32, 6 to 15. And Luke 22, 54 to 65. But I'll be reading those, um, so please don't worry. Um, if you don't have those to hand, begin our prayer. Shall we still ourselves as we prepare to meet the Father? In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I've asked the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with your soul? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen, Christ have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We have our first reading from Psalm 32. Oh, sorry, 31. Be gracious to me, O Lord. For I am in distress, my eyes waste away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent in sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery, and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror to my neighbours an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God, my times are in your hands, deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecution, let your face shine upon your servant, and save me in your steadfast love. Let your face shine upon your servant and save me in your steadfast love. Jeremiah 32, 6 to 15. Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came to me. Hanamel, son of your uncle, Shalom, is going to come to you and say, Buy my field that is in Antithor, for the right of redemption by purchase is yours. Then my cousin Hamnel came to me to the court of the guard in accordance with the word of the Lord and said to me, Buy my field, for it is at Ananoth in the land of Benjamin. For the right of possession and redemption is yours. Buy it for yourself. Then I knew that this 
was the word of the Lord. And I bought the field at Anathoth for my cousin Hanamel and weighed out the money to him, 17 shekels of silver. I signed the deed, sealed it, got witnesses and weighed the money on the scales. Then I took the sealed deed of purchase containing the terms and conditions of the open copy and I gave the deed of purchase to Baruch, son of Neria, son of Mahaseya, in the presence of my cousin Hamanel, in the presence of the witnesses who signed the deed of purchase, and in the presence of all the Judeans who were sitting in the court of the guard. In their presence I charged Baruch, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these deeds, both this sealed deed of purchase and this open deed, and put them in an earthenware jar, in order that they may last for a long time. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, houses and fields and vineyards shall again be bought in this land. And Luke 22, 54 to 65. Then they seized him and let, led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him and said, This man was also with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, someone else was seeing him, said, You also came as are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then, about an hour later, yet another kept insisting, Surely this man was with him, for he is Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? They kept heaping many other insults on him. Reading from Daily Celtic Prayer. In the midst of negative circumstances, we are... We have to try hard to remember God's promises, remain true to him, and make sure there is something left to come back to and hold on to. In Jeremiah's case, he bought a field when it seemed a foolish step. Where minds and bodies reel with pain, which nervous smiles can never mask. And hope is forced to face despair and all the things it dare not ask, aware of weakness, guilt or shame. The will gives out, the spirit groans, and clutching at each straw we find, more stumbling blocks than stepping stones. We now have our meditation for this day. Jeremiah's field. Weep, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves, for the day has ended. Weep not for me, for the night must come before the morning. This is the time, the time for seeking the Lord. This is the time, the time for weeping before him. Now is the time, the time for returning. Set up the waymarks. 
Turn your hearts towards the highway. Turn again, turn again, O virgin Israel, return to the Lord. Continue now with our prayers for others. So let us pray. Lord God, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to defend us from all perils and dangers, shed forth your unending day upon us. We watch for you and with your Spirit as, your, as our companion, companion, kindle our hearts and awaken our hope as we pray. Lord, we hope in you. Shelter all who lead and serve your church under your care. And give them grace to grow in holiness. Lord, we hope in you. Look with pity on the homeless that they find a dwelling place worthy of human dignity. Lord, we hope in you. Give increase to the fruits of the earth, that all people have the, have the food that they need each day. Lord, we hope in you. Help the sick, look with faith on the cross of Christ, and find strength in sharing his suffering. Lord, we hope in you. Grant that we may seek your face all our days and follow you with our whole heart. Lord, we hope in you. Let your loving kindness go with those on their last journey and admit them to your heavenly keeping. Lord, we hope in you. In you. In Christ, Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace, and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now come to our final prayers for this morning, the canticle. Christ is a light, illumine and guide me. Christ is a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is a shield. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So go well this week. And do get in contact if you'd like to speak to any of us here at St. Polinus. God bless.